Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorials. So today we are continuous to make our Unreal Engine 2D games for Android. Uh, as you remember, we are create our bull, we are create some kind of stamina, we are already make some jumping effect and camera shaking. So if you are don't check my previous tutorials, please go and check it one more time. So what do we make today? Today we create some land which have a spawn and moving operation. Okay, what we are doing? We are create some new uh, blueprint and class of this blueprint will be actor, just standard blueprint class. So it will be, it will be like a object land, something like that, object land. So we are going inside and what we will do? First of all, inside in our default scene, I will create some sprite, paper sprite. Name of this paper sprite will be land, something like that. Okay, now I don't make some land inside, I'm going to event graph. As you remember, if we are going and if we are check our texture, no, sorry, sprites. As you remember, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six different uh, sprites. And I like to receive some randomize. Okay, what we are doing? We are going to object land. Uh, we are delete everything we know needed for a moment. And we are create some variable. Going to variable and create. This variable will be all lens, something like that. So what type of this variable? Open this and yeah, you can find somewhere here or you can put something like that. Sprite. As you can see, you have some sprite. Open this. And as you remember, uh, maybe you are check some other tutorials, you have some different of types. If you open, you have one single variable you have array and you have something set and you have some map. So we are used now array. Single is mean only one object inside. Array is mean we can put inside many objects. So create array. I have paper sprite array. It mean inside in this variable I can put many different objects. So how will this work? When I push compile, I have some default value. So add. One more time we are check how many I have lens. We are going for sprite. We are checking I have one, two, three, four, five, six different lens. Going to blueprint and inside in this variable create one, two, three, four, five, six, six different lens. Okay. Zero will be land number one, or I, I don't know what, what is the name of that. Just select somewhere, yeah. Then we are going somewhere here, here, and one by one create one, two, three. Now will be four. One, two, three, four. Then will be four and five. Land 4 and Land 5. Where is it? Yeah, so very good. Compile. It's mean inside in our all lands in this variable I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different lands. 6 different lands. So what we will do now? I like to make, so if this actor I will apply somewhere here, I like to receive every time different variable, different uh, like a randomize of this land. What we will do is mean every time when start plays this actor, I am create a event on begin play. It's mean every time when in start play, I will set a sprite. So set sprite. Where is it? Set sprite, set sprite. Yeah, set sprite land. You see this land, I like to set the sprite. For a moment, if I going to sprite, sprite not set it, no any source. So I like to make it manually. 
set sprite and target this land and new sprite I will take from this area. So I take my all lands variable somewhere here, I take get and I like to receive some randomize from this arrow. So how to do it? Uh, first of all, we are take a get. We are going like this and make it get. As you can see, I can get some land from this area. Uh, for a moment, it is zero. It means every time when I call this sprite, coming this land, zero, coming only this sprite. And I like to make it, so if, for example, here I put, I don't know, three, it means every time when I call this actor, coming, just a moment, coming, one, two, three, coming this one with number three. So, but I like to make this number a randomize. What I will do, I just drag from this area and make it random, something like this. A random integer in range. We need in range, not just integer. I like to put some range, something like that. So I have minimum and I have maximum. We are going to the land and we will see minimum zero, one, two, three, four, five, maximum five. What I will do? I can put it manually, for example, zero, maximum to five, something like that. Or I can make some very nice trick. If I take from all lands one more uh, line or rope or doesn't matter, and I put lands, something like that, this uh, node will take, as you can see, get number of items in array. It take it. So I can put here, but it will be mistake because my lens is just a moment, we will check. My lens is one, two, three, four, five, six. My lens is six. But I need array from one to five because zero is also number. Zero is also number. For this reason, I take this lens and make it minus integer minus integer minus one. So it means here will be automatically five because total inside in the array, I have six items, but from zero to five, it's mean six minus one will be five. From zero to five, I will get some, I will get some, I don't know, some new sprite. What we will do next? Next, I like to receive some, um, some size. We are going here and we are create some Mm, some size. So we are going here and we will check. So I like to receive scale 0 0.2, not 1 0 0.2. As you remember, inside my pawn, I take a land and I make 0 0.2 and it's very good size for me. So uh, transform and size. So how to do? I take the sprite, go in here and make it transform, something like this. After that, reset, reset, reset again. I need somewhere set transform. We are going down, set actor transform, no, set relative transform. I think it is, but for land, set relative transform for land. Select it, put somewhere here and somewhere here. Very good. So as you can see, I have new transform. So right click and make it split stroke uh, struct, something like that. And my transform scale will be 0.2. 0.2, 0 0.2, or you can go here and make it exactly here. But I like to show you some additional option. So also, uh, we will see. We will see now what we will do. So here I add something else, but I will show you it a little bit later. Okay, it's mean every time when I call this actor, I will get some information from this array. So. One time I call, I will receive a randomized number of these uh, lens. Uh, for this reason, we are going and create one more actor. Create blueprint class and again empty actor. It will be spawn. Just something like that. It will be spawn. Open. And what we will do? We are going inside and we are going for event graph somewhere here. Okay, 
in begin play I don't make nothing for a moment this I delete this I delete and I create new custom event custom event something like that I will call this event spawn land something like this so when I call this event I will get a spawn on land how to do it drag and make it spawn somewhere here will be spawn actor from a class yeah spawn actor from class just take it so what class class will be land as you remember object land land just uh, object land yeah this is our actor so split the structure this is will be location where is I like to spawn for a moment it is zero so I will put somewhere for 500 or maybe 300 for a moment just for a moment uh, what else now we will check how it's working mm, no for a moment no uh, then I will make some delay and after delay I will make one second I will call again spawn land okay something like this it means spawn land event then spawn some actor one second wait and again spawn land it will be like a like a circulation so then I will make begin play event for begin play where is this yeah like this and when it's begin play I call my spawn land spawn land something like this so one time when this actor just start playing it calling me land after that spawn actor delay again spawn land and like this circulation so how it's working we are put down we are take the spawn and put somewhere here just make a zero coordinates don't don't forget yeah uh, save and play look at this one two three four five uh, we can see you see how many actors added if, if you check here some kind where is this land yeah spawn coming some additional actors very good very good stop so uh, now I like to add some moving for this uh, land which is spawned I put somewhere here and I will add some project moving go in here and add project moving component something like this target this is mean this actor when spawn will get some moving after that I am going for speed of this moving set velocity something like this in local space something like that which this target okay split it and velocity I will make minus 120 something like that okay save and look what I have when my object will spawn may when my actor will spawn it will get some moving with this speed after that one second delay and again spawn so check how it's working you see but it's dropping down why it's going like this uh, if we are at only this velocity our error if we are going inside this project settings we have some some additional settings and if you can see we have projective gravity scale so now my gravity is one I like to disable this gravity for the gravity for this reason I'll put a zero save and play again as you can see every second my land is moving and going going here very good and looks like very very interesting what I don't like I don't like uh, where is location of this land yes I like to put it just little bit down and now we will see where is the problem okay now we will check where is the problem one more time my land spawn it in which location in zero location but the problem with my sprite so I have to go to sprite and open any sprite from land just moment we will open first sprite from land as you can see I have access I have this arrow inside in the middle 
It's mean my program Unreal Engine 4 understood that this is middle, it means zero coordinates, but I like to receive zero coordinates on top. So how to do it? We are select, we are going for this sprite. After that, we are going to pivot mode and make it center, 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 top. Where is this? Center right, center left. This is bottom. I cannot see top center, something like this. You see, now this will be my pivot point. So save it and check the different play and check. So this is on top, on top, on top, but this going in correct position, you see, somewhere down. It means we will do like this with all my sprites. I'm going here, top center, save, close. Going here and here, select everything, right click and make it edit. It's open it all of them, make it top center, save, close. Top center, save, close. Again, top center, save, close. And this one last, top center, save, close. Okay, play and check what I get. Very nice, it's going down, but what I can see, my bull like a fly, so I like to pick up little bit on top, just little bit. There is two ways, or I can go to object land and this land just to pick up location, just to pick up on on two somewhere, somewhere here, maybe two only. Or I can make it in spawn. Yeah, it's not working for a moment. Just moment, I will put like this. Mm, just give me to sync, yeah, this location. Here should be two, yeah, as, as I understood. Just a moment, play. Yeah, you see, now my bull going up. But what now is the problem? As you can see, uh, I have not so good background. So as you can see, it's overlapping or land on top or bull on top. I cannot see like a proper picture. Uh, how to fix this problem with uh, Unreal Engine with uh, paper sprites? Inside in paper sprite, we have like this, uh, very interesting options inside in the rendering. So select paper sprites, go to rendering, open it. And here you have translucency sort priority. If you read this information, you will get some more information than I tell you. But uh, the problem is, for example, uh, I put all this land, I put for example, 100. Just, just like example, and here will be five. Just like example, save. But my pawn, my bull, I am going again for uh, rendering. Where is this rendering? Somewhere here, yeah. And sort priority, I put 101, just like example. Then play and check the different. You see, my bull will be all time on top. But if I put this 101 for 99, less than 100, save. It means my bull will be all time behind. Uh, this is like a reason for what we need this priority. But look on the land, some land going to overlap and it looks like not so good. For this reason, I like to make some uh, translucency sort priority for a land. So how we will do it? Uh, we are going for my object land and we are create one more node. So as you remember, it is rendering, it is translucency third priority. So after sprite, I take translucity, something third priority, trans, uh, where is this, can be. Okay, we will try to put like this, third, yeah. Set translucity third priority for what? For land, something like that. And as you can see here, I have some number. So uh, we will make it random. Random in range, random in range. Every time when call it my actor, minimum will be 101 and maximum will be, I don't know, 110, just like example, save and play. And look at this. 
So, you see, my land not going to overlap. Yeah, sometimes it's coming, but really it doesn't matter. It's not coming all time. So what we will do now, now I like to increase this time to receive more or less interesting uh, picture. I'm going to spawn and this duration time delay make for two seconds. Play and check. Okay, you see I have some, some hole between. It's also not so good. Make it, I don't know, 1.5, like, like for example, like a checking. Okay. Okay, almost, just little bit going on top, so maybe we will make a 1.6. Check. Okay, looks like very nice, but maybe we will make a 1.55, maybe something like that. Check again. Yeah, so this I like, this I like, it looks like very nice, I have big land. Uh, and here we will make not 300, we will make maybe maybe 500. We will check where is it will be. Play. No, you see it's it's coming here and I don't like it. Maybe we'll make more, 800. Save, play. Okay, my land and I cannot see any spawn. I cannot see any spawn. And looks like very nice. So I have a bull, I can jump very nice speed as you can see my stamina working and it already looks like some kind of platformer looks like very nice okay uh, but i have some problem and this problem so if i'm going down and look of the my actors if i play and it's coming 17 18 all time each my land it's new actor it's a new actor. It's all time spawned new actor. 23, 24, 25, and like this. So if I check it like here, set viewport. Yeah, I think just a moment, maybe not here. Yeah, maybe simulation, just a moment, I will check. Yeah, you see how it's going. So my land coming and continuously coming to very, very far, very, very far distance, yeah? And continuously coming. So, this I don't like. For this reason, we are going back to my blueprints, take my spawn object and create inside in default road, we are create a box, collider box. Box collision, it will be like a destroyer or something like this. Maybe I have somewhere mistake in this word, but doesn't matter. So inside in viewport, I have this kind of box. We will make it very, very big, maybe very something like this and put somewhere back, maybe somewhere on 100. I don't know. And I pick up a little bit back, maybe 200, something like that. So, oh, sorry minus 100 okay for what i need this box i put where is this height in game not height in game so look just moment stop yeah this so this is my box which i just created yeah for what i need this box for a moment i put a zero i am going to event graph select this destroyer yeah going right click event collision and when component and overlap begin overlap it is mean when it's just touching and overlap when it's passing i take and overlap take like this so what i take and overlap from spawn cast cast to the spawn where is cast to the spawn any object when it overlapping this object it's coming for destroy destroy actor something like that okay how it's working save and play this is my box look at this coming land when it's land going out mm, why it's not working now we will check just a moment just a moment i will check here and i will check how many actors created and if it's destroyed or not
yeah it's not destroyed for this reason what we will do we will change some settings so we no need any cast because we already inside we already inside it means everything which is coming to overlapping going for destroy everything what is touching this and going to overlap and overlap going to destroy so check and check now coming land and when this land finish to this box you see it's destroyed yeah how it looks like if we are play and put it down somewhere like this look at this 16 actors look at this it's not going anymore yeah 19 one is coming other is destroyed and like this i'm not overload my program and not overload my game very nice uh, now we are going here and this box we will put a minus 100 minus 100 something like that okay and hide in the game i don't need it anymore very good so what we are did today for this moment my tutorial finish it we are create some destroyer for object we are make some spawn land and we are make some object land whereas we put some priority sort priority and something like that uh, if you like this tutorial please put like share with your friends uh, comment me if you have any question and if you are don't check my previous tutorials please do it it will be very applicable for me okay goodbye and see you next time